Hey everybody, welcome back to Fashion is Art with Braden Schwab as always. And today we're going to talk about three tips on how to thrift. And before we get started with this video, I want to make sure that you subscribe to the channel down below, like the video for the YouTube algorithm, get that thing to show up and get a lot more people to see this information because we're going to be dropping some dimes today. And to get started, tip number one, if you like it, you buy it. Now, the reason why that is a very important thing is if you see something that you really like at that at, at a thrift shop, just in general, just go ahead and buy it. Because at the end of the day, if you think for one second, even if you go back home, take a, you know, take a shower or go to the gym and then think you're going to go pick it up later, chances are it's going to be gone. Now, why is it going to be gone? Because thrift stores have a lot of people just like you who are looking for either cool designer or some nice fits to add to their own collection. So if there's something that you see that you like, typically someone else is going to like that too. That makes sense. So with that in mind, if you like something that you see at a thrift store, buy it that instant. Do not wait around, do not loiter, and do not assume that people are going to just walk over it. And don't assume that, you know, again, that's going to be there. Another reason why you really want to buy something right away, if you really do like it, is you have to understand yourself. When I go through a thrift shop, there's pretty good chance I'm only leaving with one shirt or one pair of jeans or one pair of shoes, one something or nothing. Because I have a very particular taste where I'm not just going to go get whatever it is. Um, even if it's designer, you know, I'm not really deeply into the reselling model for thrift shops. You know, that's not really my goal. You know, I'm not a reseller. When I buy something, it's for me. But if, again, that, if that is your thing, if you're looking to resell, then you would still want to make sure that you buy it immediately. But going back to like it, you buy it in time with things, you don't want to have regrets. And with how cheap things go at a lot of thrift shops, especially Goodwill, which I'm going to reference a lot in this video, you're going to have items that are anywhere between 2 and $5. So with those low price ranges, you really can be a lot more, you, you, you really can phase out that main buying factor of price and just take it down to value. A lot of times when we're out buying things, you know, the first thing we look about, look at, and that we're concerned is the price tag. And that's something you don't have to deal with at a lot of thrift shops. So go ahead and get something that you like. Number two is if you see something you like, put it in the cart immediately. Keep it with you. Put it in your bag. Put it somewhere. Or you tell the, uh, for example, let's say you see some really nice Jordans and they're stuck behind a glass case or something like that. When in doubt reach out. And what I mean by that is when in doubt, reach out to the cashier, the teller, anyone who is in the closest vicinity of that case to make sure that you can get your hands on those shoes and just be able to check them out as soon as can. Now, a lot of times what you might be thinking is, oh, you know, I'll just get it when I come back around to the front of the store. Wrong. If you do that, someone else is going to hop on it. You're going to lose out to me. You know, I'm just going to be strolling into the store. I'm going to see him through the glass case. And before you know it, I'm going to ring down someone and have them open up the case for me. I'm going to take the shoes and whatever happens, happens. But at the end of the day, you missed out because you didn't take advantage when you could have. You weren't you, you weren't aggressive in going for it, you know. So you really want to be able to attack as soon as you can if you see something that you really like. And I'll give you an example. So this isn't clothing, but it is pretty cool to me. So this hand cost me $4.99 at Goodwill. See if that'll show up. It's probably not going to show up because of that light. But trust me, trust and believe $4.99. And I saw it up on the just in like a middle section at Goodwill again. And I put in like a middle section. Actually, I don't know where did I put it. I put it in like a middle section. Oh yeah, I put in like another like a another part of the store to come back because I was going to go try on a shirt. 
Now, lo and behold, this old lady comes up and she takes it and she puts it in the cart. Now, I don't let things go away. Like, that's mine. I'm sorry. But she can buy like 14, 15 of those. You just never know. So I really wanted this. So I went up to her and I said, hey, uh, that was actually mine. You know, I had it in my car. I was just putting it aside to put on a, put on a shirt. And she's like, oh, yeah, you know, I completely understand. You know, this is really cool. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Then we kind of stare at each other awkwardly for a good five to ten seconds until she handed me back my statue. Now, could I have let it go? Yeah. Was I being petty? Yeah. But the point of the matter is, if I would have just put it in my cart or put it in the bag and kept it close to me, it would have never happened. But I didn't think of it at the time. You know, I was kind of rushing. I was, try you know, just trying to try another thing. But you just don't realize how quickly something you want can get sniped up. So keep that in mind. If you really want something in a thrift shop, any sort of thrift shop, I don't care how many people are in there at the time you walk in, pick it up, get it, bring it with you, take it with you the whole entire time. Well, before we get into the third tip, like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below if you have any other tips or tricks that you would use when thrift shopping. Now, I'm going to have a video that's coming real soon that's going to be a vlog where I'm going to go inside a few different thrift shops and show you my technique and kind of see if I can find some cool designer, see if I can find something nice to fit me, another gap, long shirt, some polo, anything of that nature. So, number three, pick the right location. So, when you're picking a thrift shop, you don't just want to go into any thrift store. Reason being is a lot of them are busts. And what I mean by that is you're going to find out certain thrift stops will uh, thrift shops will carry certain merchandise that's more leaning to your need and other thrift shops will be catering to say home goods or a lot more pots and pans, a lot more furniture. You want to target a Goodwill that not only is going to have nice clothing ideally, because that's what we're talking about, fashion, but also is in a nice area of town. Now, why do you want to target one that's in a nice area of town? Because if you go to one that is a, in a nice area of town, there is a much higher chance, not a guarantee, but a much higher chance that they left some good stuff behind. Because a lot of times rich people, they won't really want to take the time and resell, say, Nike. They want to take the time to resell Jordan or Louis Vuitton, or a lot of this stuff. If it gets older and it doesn't fit them, and if they don't have anyone else that they can pass along to, they're probably just going to give it to Goodwill. So you got to keep in mind of the area in which you live in and what type of people are going to those thrift shops because that is a determining factor of like, obviously, you know, a lot of times when people are going to go to certain thrift shops, those are the same type of people who are the ones who are donating. Again, if you're in a poor, more urban area, I have never been to a thrift shop that mm, in, in, I have back home. I'm not going to lie. And back home in San Diego, I have been to a few thrift shops that are in like a like a more like, like a poorer neighborhood. I didn't find anything, though. But the point is, I didn't really know at the time. But everything that I have that, you know, the jerseys, the chains, the watches, a lot of the shoes that I've gotten from thrift shops. They all have been from stores that are in really nice areas. And not just Goodwills, too. I know I've been talking about a lot of Goodwill, but there's thrift worlds, there's vintage shops, secondhand thrift shops. If you just Google them, you'll be able to find a lot, and they'll have a lot of cool stuff that you can you know, take advantage of. And one that I'll show you right here. Oh, give me one sec. I'm going to grab it. I had to show y'all my favorite hoodie of all time just because got this at a vintage store. Uh, it's called, I think it's called Scouted or Scouts, something like that. Give them a shameless plug. But as you can tell, nice ass hoodie, right? No, we're going to have a video that talks about can fashion get you laid? The short answer is no, but this helps. Enough of that.
So again, as a refresher, the three tips that you want to keep in mind as a thrifter, you know, there's a lot of great things that you can find at a thrift shop. But when you find some nice designer, some really great fashion pieces that you can keep for yourself and, you know, just just wear them around or resell, that's a really big win. But you want to make sure that if you like it, that you do buy it. It doesn't matter if it's too long, you can get a tailor. It doesn't matter if it has a, I would say, unless it has a pretty bad spot on it, you know, that you know you can't get out, don't buy it. But if you can look it up and you can find out it is something you can remove or just want to risk it for three bucks. I mean, at the end of the day, you can either have a really nice piece or you just you're just losing three dollars. So if the price is right, you have to think of that in mind as well when you're getting some of this clothing. Like it, buy it. And make sure when you're in doubt, just get it and keep it close with you. Keep it in a bag. Keep it in your cart. If you see the cashier and the person's got the little key and they're going to get the shoes for you, if they leave to go get a key or something like that, just stay by the case as well. Because, again, you just never know. Someone could come in right behind you and get that pair. So got to be aware of that. Got to be mindful of you not being the only person that is going to be going through the shop. And then, of course, the last one is make sure you pick the right location. So one, two, and three. Make sure you pick the right location, finally, because I think that's still the most important one. Even though a lot of times, you know, there's not too much of a discrepancy in a good trip or a bad trip. But at the end of the day, again, just make sure you put yourself in the best position to get the best clothing that you want because you just don't want to waste your time and I've wasted some time going through the wrong thrift shop that just doesn't have anything. It's just, you know, a lot of CDs, a lot of vacuums and chairs and brooms and stuff like that. And I'm not going to thrift shop for that. So I keep that in mind all the time. But anyways, that's the end of this video. And if you like this video, tell your friends, tell your mama, tell your family to subscribe and do so at the bottom. Like, and again, comment if you like this video, if you learn anything and what you're able to find when you go thrift shopping. You know, if you found something cooler than this hoodie, let me know in the bottom. Until next time, peace.